Well, guys, welcome back to Lost Valley. We are back in this town, and we did not get lost this time, thankfully. But we are back to buy another container yard, which I've already bought, and we're heading to it right now. This is our old previous uh, container yard. Let me hop out of the truck real quick, run across the street. So this one we already own. It's called the Palico Container Yard, and we found everything we could at that property. We bought, I think, the whole entire yard. We found a Razor and two dirt bikes, so it was pretty cool. Now we're going to move on a little bit south of this town and try and, you know, find some more things at this new container yard. They're all abandoned. They've been sitting for 50 years straight, or at least someone's been using it for their own personal space. So yeah, we're going to pull up. I think it is right here, but the entrance is way down the road. So it's going to be a little bit of a drive. I'll see you guys once we're pulling in. Before we get there though, make sure you guys drop a thumbs up on today's video and also subscribe. It helps out a ton and I really appreciate it. Well, here we are. We are pulling in. This is a dirt road. So this place has been here for a while and it's actually owned by Timber Time Woodworks and they own part of this road. And then once we get to right about here, this is where our land starts. So we got to take the dirt road all the way down. We actually don't own any of the trails over there. We own, I think, part of this land. You can kind of tell because, you know, the lawn has gone to waste. Check it out. We might need to get, you know, a lawnmower out here, clean it up. But here we are. We are pulling into the abandoned container yard. Wow, this is uh, it's looking pretty rough here. Let's pull up to the gate. It's still automatic. Powered by a solar panel. They had that thing back in, you know, the 1980s. I'm very surprised. But here we go. This is it. There's a ton of old storage facilities. That thing is old. It's all boarded up. You can see. And then we've got lights. Nice lights around the area. Those are, uh, I think those are new. The city had to put them in so that no helicopters flew into the area. I don't know. There's a uh, restricted airspace, so they had to put those in. Another really old barn right here. There's nothing in there that we own, so we can't really open it. I think it's all locked up. We got to wait for the realtor. So we're not really supposed to be here because we haven't officially signed off on it, but we have wired the money. So we can, you know, kind of look at what we want and take a look at a sneak peek. We already paid for it, so we technically own it. We got, uh, let's see, three, six, 12, and then we got six more down there. So we have 15 with these two, and then we got there about 22 different containers. So that is crazy. And then there's another one right there. So we've got 22 containers to look through today. Just to take a quick look, if you couldn't tell, I brought along the Gen 1 TRX Ram. Actually pretty good, uh, pretty good truck. We got a nice gooseneck hitch in the back. And then we got a 50 footer in case we're bringing home any surprises. Also check out these custom tires. I added dually. Mud, mudding tires. These are uh, actually really beefy for trailer tires and they're duels too. So we got mud flaps on them. This thing's an absolute beast. It's kind of taller than the truck too. All right. What do you guys say? Let's get to work on opening these containers. I think we can open about maybe five of them because the rest are locked up. Like these ones are heavy duty. I cannot even break this with one of my uh, super duper strong hammers or anything. Nothing's going to break these. So we got to look through the ones we can and then we'll kind of decide if we want to take anything home today. Alrighty, of course, I'm going to start with the one that was unloaded from this old forklift here. This thing is 20 years old. It's still powered by, I think, a diesel engine. There's no propane on it. All right, let's open it up. Here we go. Come on, open up. All right, there's no locks on this thing. I can't, I can't get it open, though. There's something wrong with it. Okay, we're going to come back to that one. There could be a problem or a jam in one of these, uh, these bolts because they could be rusted a little bit at the bottom there. They're pretty good condition for 40 years, 50 years old. Uh, we're going to come back to that one. Let's check out this one. Entrance is over here. There we go. Let's open it up. Ooh, that's a nice skid steer. What is that, a Caterpillar? That is a nice diesel skid steer. Looks like we've got a little bumper hitch here so you can tow around trailers around the yard. But that's a 2890. That's a that's a nice skid steer. All right, we can uh, have easy access getting in. So let's hop in and pull this thing out. All right, this is definitely newer. Somebody must have been using this container yard for storage or something because this is too new to be, uh, you know, 50 years old. But here, let's pull it out. Oh, wow, that's nice. Oh, look at the tracks. These things are brand new. It's never been used before. I wouldn't doubt if somebody was using this place's storage since it was abandoned. They got free storage for their containers, you know. But uh, we should find a uh, description, a uh, paperwork inside the container of where it needs to go. We could probably go send it out. Deliver it ourselves and take the money. I'll do that. I don't really need a skid steer. So what we'll do is deliver it, take the money from it. But this thing is sweet. Let's see if we can get top speed. Oh yeah, this thing's quick. We're doing 15 miles an hour on a skid steer. Yeah, that's awesome. All right, let's go ahead, uh, put the ramps down on the trailer. We're going to load this thing up. And then I've got this special hammer. We're going to try and open up this container. There we go. We got it open. Open up the doors. Latch them in. Perfect. All right. Oh, Oh, wow. What is that? 
That is a Ford GT. I know those vehicles. There's no way this place is abandoned. Someone's been keeping their stuff here, but uh, technically we're the rightful owners. It's on our property. Well, would you look at that? These are some nice dirt bikes. Nope, they're not dirt bikes. They're, uh, what do they call these things? Motorcycles. Yeah, yeah, Kawasaki motorcycles. These things are sweet. They've got the street racing tires on them. They've got the massive disc brakes, carbon fiber body frame. That is awesome. I love this thing. All right, let's try and fire it up. The battery's not dead. It's been here for longer than a couple months. Okay, it's still, the battery's still charged. So this thing has been sitting for less than three months is what I was trying to say because you know, the battery would die. So uh, someone's been keeping their stuff here recently. Let's hopefully the Ford GT fires up. Uh, so how are we going to get in this thing? Here we go. All right. I made it in. I had to squeeze in a little bit, but here we go. We'll fire this bad boy up. Now, this is a sweet car. Let's go ahead and pull this thing out. This is a $1.3 million supercar because this is the special edition one. The, like, the colors on it are not, not easy to come by. So very special edition. This thing is an absolute beast. Oh, yeah. Look at the front end of this thing. I love the carbon fiber racing stripe. Everything color matches it. Even the brakes, Brembo brakes. Yep, yep. We won big today, guys. We're going to keep that car, of course, because blue is my favorite color. So we're not going to let that 4 GT slide or deliver it. Let's go ahead. We got to fire up the truck, and then we're going to put the ramps down. There we go. All right, let's load up this skid steer lastly because uh, we're going to be delivering it because I don't want the skid steer. So we're going to take the money when the person pays us at their front door. Load up the Ford first. Here we go. We got to back it on just because the trailer's height is not the best. There we go. Looks good. And stop. All right. That's probably perfect. Throw a strap down there and there. Perfect. All right. We're going to grab the Kawasaki's and then we have one more container to look at. All righty. We got the bikes loaded up. Got them all strapped down. And here is the final vehicle that we found in today's property. We're going to actually turn it to the person that bought it. So that's nice of us. You know, you got to do a good deed every now and then. But Here's what we found at the uh, abandoned container yard. I think we had a pr pretty successful day. We got a Ford GT and the two bikes we're going to keep. So that's awesome. We got one more container to take a look at. All right, let's keep our hopes high here. There we go. Open up. Well, so much for that. Okay, well, we found nothing. So that is the end of today's video because we have looked through every container we can. But if you guys want us to come back and look through the other, what, 20 containers we have here, Drop a thumbs up. Let's see if we can hit 2,000 likes on today's video. And also subscribe below, guys. Thank you so much for watching, and we'll see you in the next one.